Okay. This will be an interesting one. I don't know how big this one's going to be enlarged, but it's a really nice looking original. Going to look at that later. We're just going to decide what we're going to do with this. going all the way there I'm actually wondering if maybe we don't want to go all the way because we're going to print off this directly off this original this is a really nice looking original so we're going to try and make it do our best to make it look really nice so let's see how big we're going to make it what is it it is it's a souvenir. I think it's a fridge magnet. I suspect that on the back that's a magnet. Just a typical but thicker than normal fridge magnet. It looks really sparkly. You can see, I think you can see from some of the corners, you can just, all the edges, you can see it's a, 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 lot, a thin sheet of metal with that design on it. And the rest of it's stuck, stuck on a fridge magnet. So they're just going to put that on the glass it's very pretty very attractive I like the metallic stuff but most of its fridge magnet material <laughs> now we're going to work out roughly how big we're going to make this this will be a challenge trying to make it look really nice so we're going to make it 300 the horizontal is going to be 370 oh, that's going to be quite large I'm just thinking, I think it's going to be 340, more like 340, and for the vertical, 300, oops, no, 390, this is about the size of a business card, so let's see how it goes, but if we enlarge a little bit off, it's okay, because we want to make this into a a four-way mirror image so if we lose the border down the edge where we're going to join them together that's all right that's good so let's see how our fridge magnet comes up okay whoa it's dark darker than I expected looks almost like night time now that looks terrible because it looks as if this edge is not against the side of the glass, which is a real pain in the ass. Pardon the terrible little rhyme. I don't know why that happened. It shouldn't be like that. Oh, that might be the edge that hasn't been fully enlarged. So I'm just going to compare them. Yeah, that's that's the that's not big enough. I'm going to make it a bit bigger. So we're just going to put this back on as as we had it. So we the border's okay. It's just that it wasn't enlarged enough along the horizontal. So we're just going to do that, and we're going to have to probably, as we were doing before, lighten it up. So now we're going to change our enlargements. So we're going to make this 350, and the vertical is going to be 395. We're going to cut off part of the image, the border of it in particular, so we can make a nice four-way mirror image so now we're just going to go return here it looks like I was right my intuition was right it's this way <sighs> right and I'm wondering if maybe I'm going to keep the contrast so let's see how this turns up now that we've lightened it and we've enlarged it a little bit bigger on both sides so let's see how we go See how this looks. Let's see how it goes. Well, that's a lot better. It still looks a bit darkish, and we still got some of the the magnets border. We want to get rid of that so we can make a, a four-way mirror image. But it's quite an interesting little piece. Now we're just going to put that aside, and we're going to just make a little bit bigger on the 
horizontal. I think 5% might be the go for. So we're going to make it 355. So 355%. So I think that's the alterations we're going to make. Uh, wondering if we're going to do something interesting here. We're going to just take out most of the... We're going to take out the background. We're going to use the background. We're going to reduce, take out the background, all, all of the background as far as that control can go. So we, hopefully we won't have that grey look. But hopefully we'll still have nice colours that we won't lose everything when we take out when we make the maximum setting of the background removal. So that looks interesting. It looks compared with the oh, it's still got the edge. We still haven't enlarged it big enough yet. So this is our first one. Uh, doesn't look much different. Expect when you're you expect more difference when you're using the background removal, but it's not quite as much as I was hoping. If anything, it's taken out some of the yellow, which we want the yellow because it's nice. So we're just going to put it aside and we're just going to do some more adjustments to the enlargement. So we're just going to go and we're going to go. We're going to go all the way with 360. We're going to make it that big and we're just going to return ourselves to the background or bleed removal and we're just going to bang it on on the usual setting and we're going to just press this one and hopefully get a good copy out of it okay here it goes this will probably be a prolongated demo by the look of it but it's very hard to copy things that are metallic. They don't always come out as predicted. Uh, for some reason, we're still getting an edge on this. We're like, we're trying to enlarge it off. But hang on, this is the edge. Ah, I get it. So now we've, we've got this edge correct. This edge here is against the side of the glass, just like that one. And this one, this is tricky. Anyway, I'm going to make, probably make this the feature end, even though I was thinking this would be better, but because of that border. Uh, so now we're just going to try and do another enlargement. We still haven't gotten rid of the edge yet, so I've, I fucking made some bad judgment, but not, but whatever. So I'm going to make this. 370 we're going 370 Stabilizing image, please wait. I wouldn't be surprised if that magenta toner, that pink toner in the corner there, sorry about the focus, my hand was there, that's why. Well, it's going to run out soon, I'd say, considering my experience with the yellow toner running out a couple of weeks ago. So let's see how this looks. Yeah, okay, we've got the border at the edge of the glass. This is the edge of the glass. And now we've got this. And we're going to make this the center. Even though I thought that would look good, but because of that, we don't want it. So we're going to now change it, change it around. The yellow looks good. It looks a bit backgroundy, but hey, you can't do anything about it. <laughs> right, now it's time to just print off another one. This is going to be a, a fairly prolongated demo, folks, as usual, as often. Let's see how we go. So I think we've loaded enough paper in this paper tray to to accommodate the amount of copies I'll be making today. So let's see how we go. So we're just going to line these edges up. There's not much density on this image, fortunately, so it shouldn't curl too much. So that's our two normals. And we're going to make this other two into mirrors. 
So let's go here and we're just going to go mirror image and we're just going to hit start, print off two. There goes that squeak again, that twittery sound that sounds like a fucking bird and the photocopy is going to grow wings and fly off. <laughs> No, it's a terrible joke. Uh, you got to laugh. You've got to try and make a laugh out of some of these things that are not much fun. Anyway, these are our two mirrors, and they're just going to slot, hopefully, nicely into place. Whoops, we just nudged that one. Shit. Nudged it again. Keep nudging them instead of... Now I've nudged this one, so I'm really fucking making it a bit of a nudge fest. So I'm really annoying. It's like when I'm just trying to get these in straight and they're not crooked, so I have no excuse for making a mess of this just because I've nudged some of the originals. Not originals, the copies. I'm trying to line this up, but I've made a gap. It's a little bit curly, as usual. So maybe that's part of the problem. Anyway, I think that's good enough, I'm hoping. So there you have it. That is a... Fridge magnet of Sydney, Australia.